in our previous session we have uh, seen uh, text variable number variable array variables and also uh, list variables and generic variables so these are the variables already we have seen that is already available in the uh, variable playlist so now in this tutorial we are going to learn what is dictionary variable and dictionary why dictionary variable and there is a name called key and value so we are going to understand what is key and value let me go to ui path studio so here i have a config file so look at this config file carefully so i have two sheets i will come to this uh, next sheet in another session okay so now carefully watch this settings sheet here i have a name and value and description as a header so in this name field i have a website url this is one of the uh, label and the product name also i have one of the labels and here there is a value that is the website url i have mentioned here here is the product name i have mentioned this is the value we used to refer key and this is the one we used to refer value you may have a questions so why we use key and why we use values so think that in the real time scenario okay, in the project so the value okay in every time the value may change am i right so the value this time the value uh, no, uh, the value will be https www.amazon.com in the future the url may change here the product name also the as of now it's a samsung computer monitor and the product may change in later point right but this key is not changeable okay in the development using this key we are going to get this value so that is the reason we used to refer this as key so wherever we call this keyword so the same we are going to get this value value let's see in a practical okay let me close this excel workbook and go to your ui path studio i'm going to create one more new sequence that is called a dictionary let's say dictionary variables click on create first we need to declare the dictionary variable type okay so for that i need to use assign activity drag and drop assign activity okay so in the to field create a variable let's say config i'm creating the variable called config choose the dictionary variable type browse for here type dictionary so in this dictionary choose here string and in this other one we need to select object okay so the total uh, syntax is system dot collection dot generic dot dictionary then string of object then clicking okay and go to here and call the variable config which we declared and in the value field now declare your uh, dictionary okay so i'm going to type new then dictionary dictionary of of string comma object okay click on okay i declared the dictionary variable type okay now i am going to use this variable into process okay? and we need to read excel workbook right so i am going to use read range to read the excel data i use this read range workbook activity then so we need to supply workbook path so i am going to here in the data folder and i'm selecting the config file so that is the my workbook path and so here they are mentioned in the sheet 1 so remove this because our sheet name is settings our sheet name is settings then remove this thing and all because we are we are going to read the entire uh, uh, data which is available in the settings tab 
after i read uh, the entire uh, data so i need to store it in a variable so that is a data table variable i'm going to create data table variable as dt underscore settings okay so i have read the entire uh, uh, data and stored it in the data table variable that is dt now we need to iterate all the values into loop okay so for that i'm going to use a uh, for each activity for each uh, data table activity i will use for each data table activity in the in field i'm going to call this data table settings okay so here i have a current row let me change his name as row okay so it's ready now now i need to place a if condition i tell you why i'm placing this if uh, statement okay so in the if statement i'm going to write okay the syntax note the syntax not string okay string dot is null or white white space open bracket row of okay row of within double quotes the header name name then the outside dot to string okay dot trim okay so let me open my excel workbook so that you will you can you know easily understand why i'm using this syntax okay look at this excel workbook okay here i have uh, entered a uh, few labels and values which means key and values so we are going to read this okay we are going to read this key and getting this value using the dictionary data type variable okay. and let's say i have added one more uh, key like uh, start date okay start date so when we read this entire data table and we have a empty row okay so that is also this syntax will handle because it will only pass the values without empty row if there is any empty okay if there is any empty it won't pass it here in this if statement and also if there is any extra space in the particular uh, key that is also it will remove that is it will remove it okay it will send it inside okay. remember this say, entire syntax this is the same thing we are going to use for uh, removing the white spaces and trimming the uh, particular uh, uh, keys okay key values so after this activity and we need to store the entire key and values so that is the reason i'm going to use and one more uh, assign activity to store all the key and value in the assign activity go to do field and write the syntax as config open bracket row of row of the header name that is name and close bracket dot to string and dot trim okay now click on okay so the two field will store the keys and the value field it will store the values of each keys okay so let me write it as row of okay row of value and click on okay okay now everything is done after pausing this whatever the data available in the name column we are storing that data as a key and whatever the data available in the value that data we are storing as a value okay and now i'm going to use right line activity to display the values okay based on the key input method now forget about this for each because the for each only it will do uh, it will take the key and it will store it in the config dictionary variable so here i'm going to use one more right line activity to display the values okay here in this text field 
here in this text field i am going to write so i am going to get the first url okay so in the real time you are only going to pass the keys so once you pass the key what will be your uh, output your output will be the value okay so type the config okay call the config variable open bracket and within double quotes give a key let me write web site website url website url and dot to string look at here only we are passing the key and what will be the output of this right line activity your value whatever the value you mentioned in the config file so what is the value for this uh, key uh, website url so your value for this http www amazon okay so let me copy this key as well and click save and put one more right line activity and call config variable and within double quotes place that key name and dot to string let me execute it here it's entered into for each loop and here it's entered into if condition and look at here in this output panel carefully okay in this output panel so what is stored in the row okay in the row it's stored as website url and http www dot amazon url so the entire row item is stored in this row and here we are storing the one part as key and the other part as value into dictionary variable okay so click on next and step into and now in the config in the config dictionary variable okay click on here so it stored one key and value pair so this is the key okay for this key we have a value www.amazon.in okay so again execute the same and it's storing the next key and value pair if you look at this again this dictionary variable it stored two key and value pair next key is product name and the value is samsung computer monitor and execute again because there was one uh, empty row so that is the reason it went off after reaching that if condition now it's going out yes now all the dictionary variables are stored in the dictionary uh, uh, variable here it stored a uh, three uh, key and value pair okay one is stored website url other one is product name and the start date in the start date no values stored here okay click okay now we have mentioned that the website url as a key and let me execute this and look at here it's only given the output as https www.amazon.in okay so now again execute this now you see you have expecting the result as samsung computer monitor so this is the way we are going to get our uh, config values okay so based on the keys